Joran van der Sloot is now in custody in Santiago and authorities are in the process of sending him back to Peru where he is suspected of killing a 21 year old woman. Stephanie Flores was found on Wednesday. Her neck was broken. She was apparently found in a Lima hotel room that was rented by van der Sloot. That's the connection according to police now. He is the same man who was suspected in the disappearance of another young woman. That was Natalie Holloway. That happened in Aruba back in 2005. Now, police say van der Sloot crossed the border from Peru into neighboring Chile earlier this week. Brian Burns joins us now from Santiago uh, with more on uh, what is going on. How much do we know about this right now? Well, Colleen, I can tell you right now, Joran van der Sloot is in the Chilean investigative police headquarters, which is the building behind me. He was detained earlier this afternoon on the route between Viña del Mar, which is a popular seaside resort, and here in Santiago. He was detained by Chilean police on the, uh, the request of the Interpol in Peru. Now, van der Sloot was taken into custody, not in handcuffs, not under pressure. He went peacefully. He's been here for about eight or nine hours being questioned by Chilean authorities in connection with the murder of Stephanie Flores in Lima, Peru earlier this week. Now, some information we're just getting in the last few minutes is not confirmed entirely, but we are hearing that Van der Sloot will be expelled from Chile tomorrow morning, will be sent on a plane to northern Chile and then driven across the border into Peru, where Peruvian authorities will take custody of him and perhaps, we assume, charge him uh, in connection with the murder of Stephanie Flores in Lima. Colleen. Now, Brian, this is so intriguing, of course, because he was a suspect in the disappearance and the murder of uh, Ms. Holloway back in 2005. Um, authorities in Aruba never did get enough evidence to actually charge him, but there's a lot of attention being paid to this. And I think it was his lawyer or a family spokesman saying, wait a minute, don't jump to conclusions here. He's been wrongly accused of murder before and has a target on his back. Are we hearing anything more um, in terms of you know, his side of the story? Well, we haven't heard from him himself. He made no comment when he was taken into the building behind me today. But of course, people uh, are paying attention to this story because of his connection to the disappearance of Natalie Holloway in Aruba in 2005. A lot of people are saying that it can't be a coincidence that the same young man was uh, connected with a young, another young woman who disappeared. Now, of course, uh, we've heard from authorities in Peru that they have videotape of Van der Sloot and Stephanie Flores together in the Lima Hotel. We know Van der Sloot was in Lima to participate in a poker tournament. Uh, beyond that, we're not exactly sure what the connection is. The video has not been released from the hotel in Lima, but certainly there are people paying attention to this story in Peru, in Chile, in Aruba, in the United States, and around the world. People want to know why this young man, Johan van der Sloot, is involved again with another mysterious disappearance, and in this case, the death of a young woman. Colleen. Yeah, and the legal process, by the sounds of it, is churning away. We will, of course, keep everyone up to date on the developments in this story. Brian Burns in Santiago. Brian, thank you so much. Chilean police say that they are handing over Joran van der Sloot to Peruvian authorities today. He is wanted for a murder in Lima. Van der Sloot's also suspected in the 2005 disappearance of American Natalie Holloway in Aruba. As Samantha Hayes reports, that case has just taken another twist. His name and face are familiar. Joran van der Sloot, the man who had been detained and questioned twice in the disappearance of Natalie Holloway in Aruba, has been taken into custody again, this time in Chile. Peruvian police say he is the main suspect in the murder of a 21-year-old woman found bludgeoned to death in a hotel room registered to van der Sloot in Lima. The victim's father says forensic tests will identify the killer and pointed the finger at van der Sloot. We will have samples of this man's skin underneath the nails of my daughter. So once he is captured, we will be able to show that he is the killer and he won't be able to walk away like he did in Aruba. Van der Sloot has always denied any knowledge of Natalie Holloway's fate, though he confirms the two spent time together on the night she disappeared. But today, U.S. prosecutors in Alabama accused Van der Sloot of extortion, claiming that he offered a person in Birmingham information about Holloway's remains for money. Our charges resulted from an FBI investigation into efforts by Van der Sloot to extort $250,000 for an individual. As for the case of the woman murdered in Peru, his former attorney says 
it is too early to draw a conclusion. In Washington, I'm Samantha Hayes. For the second time in his life, the 22-year-old Dutchman, Jeroen van der Sloot, is the prime suspect in a murder investigation. Five years ago, he was arrested in connection with missing American teenager Natalie Holloway. He was released, but he's now back in custody after a woman was found dead in his hotel room on Wednesday. Brian Burns has the story from Santiago in Chile. Jaron van der Sloot, the 23-year-old Dutch citizen, is being held in the Chilean Investigative Police Department building behind me here in Santiago, Chile. He was picked up earlier today on the road between Viña del Mar, Chile and Santiago, wanted in connection with the death of a 21-year-old woman in Lima, Peru, Stephanie Flores. Interpol in Peru has asked Chile to send uh, van der Sloot back to Peru for questioning in connection with the murder. Word that we are getting here is that Chilean authorities will expel him from the country on Friday morning. They will fly him to northern Chile and then send him in a car over the Peruvian border, where presumably Peruvian authorities will take custody of him and question him in connection with the death of Stephanie Flores in the Lima, Peru hotel room. Brian Burns, CNN, Santiago, Chile. In an unrelated case, van der Sloot faces uh, uh, extortion and wire fraud charges in the U.S. for allegedly trying to sell details about Natalie Holloway's death for $250,000.